Hello everyone and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to set up Windows 10 from scratch. Now let's say you bought a brand new computer or you just reinstalled Windows 10. Um, after the installation is done, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get Cartena speaking with you and the first thing that it's going to inform you is how to set up your computer and it will walk you through it. Now you can shut that off by clicking the voice control over here and she will stop speaking with you. The second thing is, it's going to say, let's start with region. Is this right? My region is United States. Where you live at, you can check it from over here. So you click on it and then you click on yes. On this screen, we will choose our keyboard layout. Depending where we bought our computer from, which country, choosing the correct place will orientate correctly with the keyboard's layout. So I'm going to choose US since my keyboard is from and in the US. Adding a second keyboard layout means if you are bilingual and you know how to speak another language and you know how to type in that other language, you can add that from this button over here. Any other language that you know, you can choose it from here and you will be typing in that language by pressing Alt Shift. Let's skip this for now. Now in this part, please make sure that you are not connected to the internet and I will explain why. If you connect to the internet, the system will automatically send you to the next page and you must and have to sign on using a Microsoft account. Now, this version is the 1909 version. It is the latest version that Microsoft sent out. It forces everyone to sign in with their Microsoft account. Before we had an option that would say skip. Now, in order for us to skip this option, we need to click I don't have an internet connection. Now, if you do have a Microsoft account and you want to use a Microsoft account, the benefits of Microsoft account is so you can connect to the cloud, one cloud, and you can connect to Xbox and Microsoft store system. If you don't want to do that and you want, you want to connect locally, just click on I don't have internet and then it will explain to you that there's more to discover when you connect to the internet, you can so, uh, connect to Microsoft features and connect to the cloud or not. So in this video, I will not connect to the internet and I will create a local account. And that is what I recommend. So below, click on continue with limited setup. And then we are going to create a username. So we're going to call or you can actually input your own name. But for now, I'm going to just type in user and then click on next. Create a password. It's up to you if you want to or not. I'm just going to click on next. Right over here it says do more across devices with activity history. So what this is basically saying that whatever you do on this device, it will mimic to other devices that you have with Microsoft and it will send data to Microsoft. So I'm going to click on now over here is up to you this will let cortina every time you say hey cortina it will open up and it will assist you i personally do not like this feature but if you have a tablet or if you have a surface then hey yeah maybe but if not um just keep this on check and do a declined i like to work on my computer in my own freedom using the manual method way i'll click on decline now over here is your privacy settings. Again, for me, I will turn them off because I don't need to find my device unless if it's a laptop. So Microsoft, using Microsoft account will actually know where your laptop is and stuff like that. For me, I don't want to use this feature. And remember, turning off these features actually make Windows 10 a little bit faster. But if you want to turn them on, just pick and choose. For example, read every single one of them and you can pick and choose. For example, if you want find my device on, if you created a Microsoft account in the screen before this, you can choose, yes, I want to enable this feature, find my device. And if your computer gets stolen, you probably will have an idea where it is. So for now, I'm going to turn it off. This is localization. This is in order for your computer to be known where it is, if it has a built-in GPS or 
it would connect to the internet and it would say where your computer actually is. So I'm going to turn off this for now. Diagnostic data is, of course, it sends all the activity of your computer, any error reporting up for Microsoft in order for them to gather. I don't want that to be enabled. I also don't want tailored experiences to be enabled. And inking and typing is sending inking and typing data to Microsoft so it can improve data recognition. Basically, everything that you say to the computer will go to Microsoft. So I'm going to disable this. And all the apps that you have will have an app advertising ID. It's up to you if you want to keep this enabled. I don't. And of course, turning them all off will give your computer a little bit of a boost. I'm going to accept these terms and then move on. Alright, so now we are at the desktop and as you see it wants to connect to the internet so it can start installing your drivers. Now after we're done with the initial setup, we can connect to the internet. You can connect to the internet by plugging in your computer to the ethernet or you can connect to Wi-Fi. I'm going to just plug in the ethernet cable and I will have internet. Alright, so the first thing I would do when I set up my own computer, I would right click personalize. All right, and then I will go to themes and then I will go to desktop icon settings and I will check computer, user files and control panel just for easy access. The computer will let you, of course, access your C, D drive, your user files over here are the files where you're going to have your documents, your pictures in and stuff like that. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, if your computer starts to flicker, it is OK. Now, to rearrange them, all you have to do is right click, view, and click on auto arrange, and they will get rearranged as well. Now, as you see, we only have a few, th a few things. The way how I set up the computer, I like to go to this website and I like to download just some necessary programs that I want for any startup computer. And I will put that in the description below. Now, if you guys like this video so far, please consider subscribing and give us a like and comment below. All right, then I will go to this website, ninite.com. This website has a few authentic programs that you can use if you want. Now, we're going to only choose a few things, for example, like Chrome. I would like to have Chrome on this computer. I would like to have 7-Zip just to open some compressed files. And, and if you like anything other than those, you can choose them from any of these categories over here. I'm going to click on Get Your NINITE. And then I'm going to just run it. It is going to start installing and run in the background, as you see. All right, I'm going to exit from Edge for now and click on Yes. It will download and it will install these two softwares in your system. We are going to make Chrome our default browser after it installs. All right, so after the installation is finished, you can click on close and now we will make Chrome our default browser. All right, so there's two ways to do it, either by double clicking on Chrome and running Chrome. It says set as default browser when it opens up the settings for default apps and you click on Chrome this way and this is how to save it. And the second way is, let's exit out. And the second way to do it is by going to start, typing in default, and then clicking on default apps, and then clicking on Edge over here and changing to Google Chrome, or if you want to keep Edge. All right, guys, so I just showed you how to set up Windows 10 from scratch. Please comment, subscribe, like this video, and see you again next time.